Welcome back to No More Heroes 2. We are continuing with the Shinobu portion of the game. For some reason, she's at Bishop's grave right now. This Bishop's I mean, she barely even knows who the guy is. Yeah. Were you friends? And here's a new character who I'll explain in a minute. And I'll just let this cutscene play. We exchanged many letters, even though our countries and languages were different. We truly understood each other. I am very much indebted to him. He gave me courage. Oh, I'm just blabbering. Don't mind me. By any chance... Do you know his best friend, Travis? Of course. Excellent. In that case, would you please give this to him? It is from Bishop. This? It is a lot of things, I suppose. Oh, it's a lot of things, all right. We'll see what that is later. Now, let me light some incense before I go. Thanks. I promise to deliver it to my master. Please do. Yeah? Shinobu, the next match is ready. On my way. This better be good. And he's gone. Okay, so you're probably wondering who the hell that guy was. Well, that was in fact famous Japanese filmmaker Takashi Miike, hope I'm pronouncing that right, who apparently also exists in the No More Heroes universe. He is not a fluent English speaker, which was probably obvious. So in case you're wondering, yes, that was a Japanese guy trying to speak English, not an English guy being racist. Moving on, this area sucks. It's basically a gigantic maze of warehouses. Okay, this is not helping my opinion of it. Fuck off! Jeez. Anyways, a gigantic maze of warehouses, which is actually very linear, but that's not the problem. The problem is there's a lot of platforming. As I've already covered, platforming kind of sucks in this game. And if you fall off one of these warehouses, you'll have to climb all the way back up again. So once again, not fun. In general, the shinobi section is a bit disappointing. I'll admit that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a nice touch. I'm glad they included it. It just could've used a little more work. Now, the funny thing is that this is actually another area of the game where you don't have to fight all the enemies. Or any of the enemies, for that matter. The entrance to the boss is open the entire time, so you can just run right past all these guys. But I'm not going to do that. Because A, that's really, really cheap, and B, the shinobu section is short enough as it is. I can make it even shorter. I was just complaining about this area, too. Maybe it's kind of a hippie. Nice. I forgot that could happen. Yeah, you can get run over by the cars in this area. It's pretty damn amusing. In a twisted sociopathic way. Like the rest of this game. Will you stop kicking me in the face, please? Shinobu's gonna have like a permanent boot print on her forehead after all this. You'd think she'd learn. What, you guys are just waiting in that car the whole time? It's just like, hmm, I wonder if she's gonna kill these guys. Oh yeah, she did. Okay, it's our turn now. You're just trying to play fair? I mean, because I appreciate it and all, but it's not very smart. You've got no moe. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to say it at least once. I don't even remember what moe means. I think I looked it up once, to, you know, just because I was curious. Some kind of Japanese term for something. Wow, that guy's a terrible shot. Guess I don't need to worry about him shooting me. Never mind. Okay, I was kind of asking for that. 
Okay, I get it, game. You can stop now. I said, I get it. The point has been received. Okay, lesson learned. Do not underestimate the gun guys. Actually, I probably should have learned that from the prison level. But I prefer not to remember that incident. Not this time. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. Thank you, help. Much appreciated. Once again, using air combos for no other reason than because they look good. Personally, I think that's reason enough. this, he cheap shot at me in the back. Bastard. Over here is a chest, of which there are many in this level. Most of them just contain money, though. For some reason, there's no collectibles in the Shinobi stages. I don't really get why. I mean, she's delivering that gift from uh, Takashi Miike. So why can't she just give him the other presents, too? Get them glasses, buddy. You need them. Well, actually, I guess you don't need them anymore, do you? Never mind. Now, this is where the platforming starts getting annoying. We're going to have to cross over the roofs of these buildings now, and they're pretty easy to fall off of. There is also some rather obnoxiously placed gun enemies along the way. Yeah, just to make it even better. God, what is it with these guys that give Shinobi so much trouble? I mean, all the rest of the enemies just go down like usual. Even the sword guys. No, not these ones. For Shinobu, the guy with no weapon is the biggest threat. Okay guys, calm down, I'm coming. That was a bad idea. I just tried to charge with the Sonic Sword. The Sonic Sword? The Sonic Sword. God. Oh, you guys are pissing me off on the stage. But not as much as that. At least there's chests. So there's a battery power, some money. Anything else? Oh, yes, there is. Here's some health. Wow, there's a lot of chests down here. What the ah, Shinobu platforming. And some more cash. Alright. And now, I'm gonna kill these guys. Oh, are you serious? Get across the bridge, come on. Why do stairs thwart you? Come on, Jinobu. So this is what your training in Asia has done for you, huh? Can't climb stairs, can't jump up boxes, get shot by everything. Though admittedly you're getting shot by everything without dying. Probably just because of the massive afro. Must be like a music bullets.
All right, moving on, finally. Could these bridges be any smaller? Really, guys? That's just adding insult to injury. Whoa, where's that guy going? The blind enemies return. And kick to the face returns. That's getting old, buddy. No, no, no. Ow! Okay, let's hit it fall off. It's because of Shinobu's taunting. I know. This is just the only enemies that really exploit that so much. And scratch that, because he did it too. I know I keep saying not to finish their combos, but... It feels so unnatural not to. Now, Travis, he knows how to finish combos. He taunts his enemies after they're dead. Which kind of defeats the purpose of a taunt, but still. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a ledge right here. Wow, just barely landed on it. Ah! Sorry, just had a little aneurysm. Okay, I'm not too far from where I need to be, but to get it back to where I was. Wow, that's gonna be a journey. At least there's chests along the way. Chests that are just full of health I don't need. Thanks a lot, game. This should be the area I was at before. Just gotta find a way out. I would cut this out, but now I'm trying to make a point here. Okay, so this is the same area I fell before. Oh, again with this jump. Come on, Shinobu. Come on. They're just boxes. This is not hard. Like, I'm pretty sure I get over boxes easier than she can. Okay, if I fall off again, I'm going to cut the video. I'll make that promise right now. Die! Oh, that felt good. I'm not sure how they managed it, but I think gun enemies are even more annoying in this game than they were in the first. Maybe it's just bitter mode. I don't know. Okay, for the love of God, do not fall off here. Or else you'll have to go through pretty much the entire stage all over again. This is right at the end, too. Good God, Shinobu. I wonder how much pain it could have saved just by not fighting any of these enemies. You know, like I said, you could. But I feel that wouldn't have been as fun. Yeah, for you guys. Not for me, because I don't matter. Huh. So this is why it's called Bitter Mode. Shinobi just brings out the worst to me. That is the lesson I have learned today. Well, that, and don't make fun of the guy with the gun. No more heroes. Teaching your children about gun violence. Dear God, I hope not. Anyway, this is the end of the stage. Just these three sword guys, and then we can move on. So, technically, we can move on already. 
But now, nah, I killed everyone else. Gotta finish the job. Oh, I hate you all. Man, the bosses sure are gonna be fun. This is actually one of the hardest bosses in the game. But thankfully, I know a really cheap trick that'll make them a lot less hard. I still kind of expect to get my ass kicked, though, because there's some platforming involved, and, well, you know the rest. There's some chests over here, and I believe there's another one hidden behind the building. Well, it's not really behind the building, but right there. Just making sure there's nothing else. Nope, there's not. Alrighty then. Okay, where do you find a shower like this in the middle of an abandoned warehouse? 